Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. So H.R. 6090 just got voted on and passed with overwhelming support the House today. The Anti-Semitism Awareness Act of 2023. In this bill, it relies on IHRA defining what anti-Semitism is. Let's read that definition. Contemporary samples of anti-Semitism in public life, the media, schools, the workplace, and in the religious sphere could, taking into account the overall context, include, but are not limited to, using the symbols and images associated with classic anti-Semitism. Example, claims of Jews killing Jesus. What does the Bible teach? Now, I know everybody's going to want to lean on the Constitution and the Supreme Court and say that could never happen in this country. A lot of people have said that about a lot of things. (laughs) I didn't think I could ever be censored. And yet here we are. Grandparents didn't think that the Bible could ever be removed from public schools. Yet here we are. Didn't think you'd have to register to buy a gun. And yet here we are. Seems like an awfully big gamble for us to be taking. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? A juicy sizzling steak made by computer. While obtaining regular meat is a process that's been taking place for millennia, cow, butcher, beef, Redefine Meat, a meat alternative startup out of Israel, makes their product using a highly technical process. The mix of soy and pea protein, chickpeas, beetroot, nutritional yeast, and coconut fat is formed into steak-like shapes using a 3D printer. Our goal is to become the largest meat company in the world just by harnessing technology instead of animals. Meat substitutes are not new, but unlike the soy-based crumbles that mimic ground beef, Redefine Meat's product is designed to act taste and cut like flank steak. This is the holy grail of alternative meat. But the most important part, how does it taste? This diner was happy. The texture uh, feels right. Even the smell smells like the real thing. Really authentic for meat. Revolution. Hey, do you notice anything about this new Times Magazine cover? I'll give you a second to really look here. I am sure you all noticed the devil horns in between the two pillars. Now this is not the first time that Times Magazine has done this. They did this back during the pandemic with Anthony Fauci. Once again, you have the devil horns in between the two pillars. Now for those who do not know, the two pillars symbolize the two pillars of Freemasonry. Or they could also be called the twin pillars of polarity. Oh, and we can't forget how Pope Francis also took part of this ritual. Once again, little devil horns in between the two pillars. So there's a few ways that you can interpret this symbolism here. The exoteric is obvious that the devil horns, he's the devil. We have the left hating this man, but uh, you have the right worshiping him. Um, Yeah, again, that's the symbolism there, but the esoteric is the two pillars symbolizing Freemasonry, which again, my personal opinion, this man is part of the club that you are not invited to. And I personally believe this is all to mock us. And by the way, if he wins, no, no, no. It's when he wins. This man is being set up to win for sure. If I was a betting man, I would bet that he will win in the election if we have an election, which I think we will, but we'll find out. We'll see. We'll wait. But yeah, more symbolism everywhere. We live in complete clown world. The world is a stage. They are all part of a club that you are not invited to. So with that, guys, I love you all so much. God loves you so much. And remember, the just shall live by faith. Be damned if I'm going to empower a government to extend beyond its constitutional limits, 
using the same bastardized use of the Commerce Clause that we have decried for decades because it has expanded a government that is now tyrannically using its power to go after the American people, go after former politicians, including the former president, that is spending money we don't have, that is using that power to regulate us to death, on virtually every bill that virtually every Republican on this side of the aisle that claims to be a limited government conservative votes for. Why? Because they don't want the Fraternal Order of Police or other law enforcement organizations to come after them. Well, last night, I didn't even have an amendment circulated yet. I simply begged the question, why are we putting forward a bill that expands the power of the Department of Justice under the Commerce Clause, no matter how meritorious our goal is of assuring cop killers go to jail, why are we doing that? Aren't we limited government conservatives who don't believe in the expansive use of the Commerce Clause to expand the power of the federal government? Because it's used for thousands of other things that we don't like. I hadn't even gotten the ink dry on the concept of an amendment when someone in this body had already notified police organizations and said, go after him. Well, you know what? Go ahead. I work for 750,000 Texans. I respond to them, to God, and the Constitution of the United States. I do not work for anybody in this chamber. I do not work for any organization. I don't work for any donor. I work for the people. And I work for a people who are sick and damn tired of this institution run by a bunch of people who campaign saying one thing and they get here and do another. Thirty-four and a half trillion dollars of debt. A trillion dollars every three months. We already spend more on interest than our defense. We're about to crack a trillion dollars of interest. They say we will hit two to three trillion dollars of interest by 2030. Our borders are wide open. We have kids dying. We had Austin, Texas. Four more people the other night died from fentanyl poisoning. A bunch of others had to be resuscitated with Narcan. The people of Texas are continuing to deal with thousands of people pouring across the border. It's not in the headlines right now because universities are in the headlines. But everybody in Texas who are reeling from inflation, who can't afford a car, who can't afford their home, who can't afford the interest on their mortgage, who can't afford to buy groceries, who are dealing with crime on their streets, who are dealing with open borders, they all want some sort of sanity coming out of this institution. And what do we do? What do Republicans do in all of their infinite wisdom? We fund more of it. We fund the Department of Homeland Security again. We give the FBI a brand new $200 million headquarters. You can't even make this stuff up. We give more power to the intelligence community to spy on Americans. Don't even protect Americans with warrants. You can't even make it up. Over the last 16 months, there has been a battle which represents the larger war brewing within the Republican Party because unfortunately my colleagues on the other side of the aisle are so far gone down the rabbit hole of radical progressive policies that absolutely destroy our country every single day, littering our country with regulations, littering our country with all sorts of crime, littering our country with open borders, engaging in endless wars, all of the stuff that is happening because our Democratic colleagues are frankly undermining the American dream and undermining Western civilization and undermining everything we hold dear. There's been a battle going on for the soul of the party in the country within the Republican Party. And I want to tell you, I'm not in the majority. I'm not. You say, Chip, you're in the majority in the House. You have a razor-thin majority. No, I'm not. I'm not in the majority. I'm in the minority. A minority of Republicans who try to wake up here and change this place rather than just campaign on it.
led the dance to your twisted romance. The world spine dizzied up, left me in a baffled trance. Singing your song for too long, been tuning that radio wrong. The new melody is static free, and now it's a light to my feet. Wrong race in the wrong time.